Well, let's take a look at what's happening right now. Switching gears. 31 Central Park, Flushing, Queens, Bayonne, 33. Winds have calmed down a little bit. Winds out of the west, southwest tonight. You know what that means. That mild air is going to start to be working in, working in from the southwest. We're looking forward to that. Why? Because it's going to bring these temperatures up. We're going to be topping out close to around 50 at Central Park, 52 Newark. 51 LaGuardia and it's gonna get a little breezy but it's gonna be that nice kind of breeze breaks in the clouds again some showers snow showers if you will further north of here not an issue we had some of those flurries come through the area that's out of here there's another low pressure system this clipper system working through the region but it's going to remain to our north we're not seeing flakes out of this maybe a slim chance upper hudson valley region that's about it but we're going to keep an eye on it and we're also keeping an eye on this system this is more complex it's bringing in rain and snow showers we're talking from the sierra mountains down to san bernardino california this is like unheard of the last time again had those blizzard warnings in california was back in like 1989. right now if you look at los angeles something you don't see all the time winter storm warning winter weather advisory in and around southern california so what does that have to do with us this area of low pressure my friends is going to be making the trek from one end of the country to the other side. So from the west to the southern plains, to the Midwest, to the Great Lakes, and then to the northeast on the north side of this warm front. Notice how it's going to be snow and that mix, some sleet, some freezing rain, always a possibility. But I'm paying close attention to these winds coming off of the water. So east, southeast winds mean a little bit more of that ocean influence. That low to our north, there's going to be another that's going to develop to our south between four and seven is our start time. Then that transition gets underway as temperatures start to warm, that transition will get underway. North of the I-95 corridor, around the Bronx, points north, better chance of snow showers. And there could be some uh, snow accumulations in all of this. It's our rain totals, but we have a couple of uh, scenarios here. Lesser amounts near the coast. This is our NAM model. Our European model putting us a little bit higher. Still early, we'll let you know. Winds will be gusting into the 30s and 40s, and there is a look ahead. Another system on Wednesday into Thursday, then again on Friday. That another complex system that we're going to continue to watch. We're going to leave you with the seven-day forecast. 